Hey guys, I'm with uh, Chian. I never know if I pronounce his name correctly. Mm, yes, Chian. I'm Chian, yes. And he is probably the best front-end developer I've met. And I thought it would be cool just to go through his little projects quickly and what he's up to. Uh, what I'm up to right right now? Yeah. Some secret project, I guess. Well, not very secret. I can roughly tell. But in order of uh, how popular things are, what is your most popular... Uh, repositories here you, would you say uh, popular would be like I, can, I guess you can see it from uh, the overview uh, which I popular would be for now it's uh, my hacker web thing I use it you should use it if you like a mobile web app to read the hacker news yep yep mobile web app and even a native app like for iOS and oh. Android which is also like the next popular one and your, your second and then live so these are the, your most popular ones right here yeah JavaScript error logging uh, I don't know why that's uh, popular but looks like a lot of people like like it you, did you pin them did you pin these ones uh, I pin this one so yeah hmm. okay <laughs> and okay and, and the next one you can't reveal yet uh, no 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 um, it's, it's related to maps uh. yeah as always okay yeah okay. <laughs> Yeah, you've you've done the the bus router, which I find useful. Taxi router less useful because I use Uber. Yeah, uh, so, which is the most popular of the, your maps so far? The bus one. Yeah. Like how, how many how many views or impressions does it get? Uh, I don't really judge from that. I judge mainly from user feedback. I always get like emails saying that oh, people like my app or they use it every day or whatever. Yeah. Really, every day? Uh, not really every day. Uh, sometimes. Uh. And sometimes I know that the API is down, so I'm like, <laughs> so that means got people who use it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, anything else to add to the thousand odd viewers on my channel? <laughs> hmm. My next app. What, what what technologies are you excited about? I guess you're a React JS sort of guy. React mainly what? for work. <laughs> what what do you use for personal stuff? Uh, no frameworks. <laughs> really? You do everything by hand, this one? Yeah. I guess, is, is there a lot to it? I mean, it's ES6, right? Uh, no ES6 either. What? What do you use? Uh, just normal JavaScript. Why didn't you go for the ES6 uh, transpiling and so Webpack, hot reload? Too slow. <laughs> really? <laughs> too slow to start. <laughs> for me, it is. <laughs> How do you do the like live reloading and all that stuff? I don't care, I just reload. <laughs> right. Control R, Control R. Uh, yeah, con or Command R if you on Mac. <laughs> and do you use any other developer tools besides Chrome Inspector, I guess? Not really. Uh, yeah, nothing else, just Chrome Inspector, yeah. Are there any new exciting developments when it comes to Google Maps? I mean, new API, new changes in the API? Not, nothing really new, more like looking forward for new stuff. Like, I'm looking forward for vector maps on the web. What, what does vector maps mean? Uh, means like, let's say Google Maps now is all raster images. So yeah, every I thought, tile, I thought it was vector, at least on, well, on mobile. Maybe. Uh, it's vector on their own website. But their API is not. Uh, yeah. What does a vector enable you to do? Uh, smoother animations. Smoother animations, like better zooming. And uh, you probably can cache it in a much better way. Yeah, like vectors, it's like you have to cache every zoom levels, right? But vectors, you can kind of like, you know, just cache once for every level, every zoom level. Since you're so awesome at Google Maps, I was wondering, what did you think of like Singapore's own street directory, one map, those sort of things? Do you think they should should die or um, <laughs> they really need to hire some better people? Or what, what's your opinion about those services? For them, it's not really about the map. It's more about the data on the map. Yeah, Are their data any better? I mean, Street Directory, I guess, has got finer yeah. grain, but just the usability of it is just awful. Yeah, their map itself is not as great as Google's or even any other providers out there. Like, yeah, or even Apple Maps, not, not even better than Apple Maps. Yeah, but then they, they have the data. So that's, that's the only good thing about uh, them, actually. <laughs> what about getting their data and plotting it on a Google map? Uh, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> I've been trying to do <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny, a friend of mine was flying a drone downtown and uh, he evidently flew into this pink area which is prohibited but it was so unclear from the one map oh. that even the police, everyone seemed to be confused. Oh. Himself, the police who kind of arrested him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think, I think uh, 
what do you call it, map mashups have got still, yeah, we're only just getting started and um, it's nice that you're doing them so well, but yeah, they need to get better as a whole, I'd say. Yeah, better, like, better maps and the, even the data. It never I stops, mean, does it? Yeah. This is like a full-time job, right? Uh, Almost. Um, well, yeah. I so, mean, not for just for you, but for like a lot of people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, nice chatting with you, man. Uh, yeah, keep me up to date. Watch your stuff, I'll link it. Bye.